Hey guys, it's Meg, and I'm here with a box opening for a G3 Twyla. Uh, a while back, Angela, Lady Bacha, the crafty atelier, uh, sent her to me, and I decided I was going to make her a separate box opening from the box opening that I did of the things that I commissioned from Angela. So, this video is pretty short, but all in all, she's actually pretty freaking awesome. Um, I didn't really enjoy G1 Twyla for some reason. They didn't scale the head down kind of the same way for the body in the G1s, so I, I wasn't as big a fan because it, it kind of... Her and uh, Howleen kind of had that uh, bobble-headed look to me. It, you know, my personal preference. But I love the proportions with the new series, and her color palette is so much more vibrant and appealing to me. I love purple and teal, so she's like absolutely perfect. So I greatly appreciate that for most of the ghouls, they kept their standard pets. I mean, there's a few little changes, but Dustin was always pretty cute. So I'm glad that he stayed um, kind of the same. I mean, his, his color palette is a little more updated, but I really like it. And all of her accessories are super cute and very on brand. So adorable. Also, this little backpack is super squishy and I was really surprised because my daughter has a G3 Draculaura. She actually has three, um, but she has the original. And the backpacks are all kind of like malleable and it's really nice because it means you can actually put some of their accessories in their backpacks. Also this mask I thought was actually fabric for a minute because it is like so squishy and so soft. So yeah. I'm weird. Also, I don't actually know what my camera is doing here. I don't know if my phone is dying or something because throughout this whole video it will randomly go dark, so I apologize for that. Hopefully I can maybe get a replacement or use a different camera. Also something I learned with my daughter's Draculaura is that all of these little cups that they come with, their lids come off. And I think that is like really kind of cute. Like if you're if you're really into it, you could probably fill it with resin, like a resin drink or something, or maybe just pretend that there's something like getting filled in it. I don't know, or, or stick little, I don't know, beads or something in it, make it look like boba tea or something. It's really cool.
So now that I have rested her from the box, uh, she does have some pretty gnarly box hair. I did end up combing it out and I kind of regret that because it got super poofy, but um, I might just do a, a hot water treatment for her hair. Um, the little hood is a little weird because I'm not really, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the little rabbit hood. It's cute, but I'm just, I don't know if she'll wear it. And she has really, really stiff bangs. Um, she just needs her hair washed though. Pretty standard for all Monster High dolls when you actually, like if you, if you collected G1, you know, they had some pretty gnarly box hair, like in general. <laughs> One thing I really, really love is that they kept that little shimmer lip that she had from G1. Um, and her eyebrows, I didn't notice it until I was editing this, but oh my god, her eyebrows are so amazing. I love eyebrows with like hair in them. It, it's pretty cool. All in all, she's actually really great. I did decide to compare her to my daughter's Draculaura, and they're actually the same height. Uh, the body's just a little different, obviously, and yes, Monster High G3 do fit Rainbow High shoes. This is my Cheryl's, and if you have them, DC Superhero Girl shoes do kind of fit. They're a little snug, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!